I'd like to first talk about is that story about Michigan, that battery plant in Michigan. Um, what can you tell us about that? And um, do you see this becoming a pattern more and more in these in these blue states and cities where they're going to allow this to happen? Actually, I was um, seeing that as a um, as a win because I think people are awakening. Uh, really, uh, they are. Actually, you heard the host saying that, you know, um, you have been an environmental um, a friendly kind of activist. And now she is coming out and speaking loudly against this EV battle. So it speaks loudly to the people's reckoning. So I think it happens at, you said, grassroots level. People are questioning those people that they voted. This girl that's speaking on Fox, she voted for uh, Whitmore. You know, she voted for the governor and now the governor has approved this deal with the Chinese. Um, uh, the, uh, you know, there's two go, one is Goshen. The other one is CATL. There's actually two, um, uh, battery plants, uh, was being actually proved around the Michigan area. So I think people are fed up. They know what's going on and they realizing that they have to stand up and organize together and united and say no to this. Because this is absolutely a Trojan horse that the yeah. CCP, because CCP is a your biggest adversarial. So they are actually literally looking for any means to destroy America. Okay, just think about the spine blue. That's not a long ago that they flied over continent America, collected all your military sensitive information, and and and, and then they hacking. You know, just a few days ago, there was a hack into a global organizations, and more than fifty five percent of them are actually American organizations and critical infrastructure. Okay, so these are huge. These are war. You, you basically in war because yeah, a lot of people don't understand the situation. You think, oh, we don't want to go into war because we want a peace. You are not at peace. CCP has no peace with anyone. And